What's going on guys? Honky Kong here and uh, welcome to the first day of the government shutdown. Today is October 1st, 2013 and yesterday I did a video that got me thinking. I did a video about the, uh, the debt ceiling and, and what it is, why it's necessary and where we're at with it. Um, and today I kind of, you know, that video got me thinking to like, why, why are we broke as a country? Why are we always broke? So I did a little bit of research and uh, just like, you know, just like anybody who's broke, they know when you're, when you're broke, it's because you spend more money than you bring in. And it's the same thing with our government. Last year in 2012, we spent $3.5 trillion while we brought in $2.4 trillion, okay? So that we ran a, a $1.1 trillion deficit in 2012 alone. Now, this is nothing new. This has been going on for many, many years, okay? So those of you guys that want to just oh, Obama, don't know, you know, blah, bailouts, blah, 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 blame Obama. No, it's been, it's, it, it was going on long before him. The, you know, raising the debt ceiling is something we've done for, you know, many, many years in this country. So you can't just put it on the current administration, okay? If you guys are interested in any of this information, it's all freely, very readily, and easily available. All you got to do is go to whitehouse.gov slash OMB slash historicals. OMB stands for Office of Management and Budget. They pretty much put all the numbers out there for you to look at. Uh, if you want to dig a little closer and, you know, like, what do we spend on defense, you can go to whitehouse.gov slash OMB slash Department of Defense. Or any program you're interested in seeing um, how the money's allocated, what is it, what exactly is it spent on, it's all out there for you to check out. It's kind of dry reading for me. I'm not super into this stuff, but, I, you know, I checked it out just to see what where our money's going. But uh, if you want to dig deep, there's, there's a lot of great info. It's out there, and you can check it out. Um, so what do we spend our money on? Number one thing is entitlements. Last year, $2, $2 trillion, a little bit over $2 trillion on our entitlement programs. And I'll get to exactly what the entitlement programs are in a minute. Um, number two thing we spend our money on is our defense budget, $553 billion last year. Okay, So those are the two things that we spend the lion's share of our money on in this country. Now, what are entitlements? Entitlement programs are social programs that the government has in place for citizens of the United States who qualify for them. Okay, uh, Things like... Um, Welfare, food stamps, Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid, um, federal employee pl uh, pensions, including military guys, public housing, those type of things. Those are all encompassed into um, what we call entitlements. Okay. Now, most of the money is spent on three entitlement programs. All right. Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid. Those three things eat up, those three things alone, SSI, Medicare, and Medicaid, eat up about 45% of the revenue we generate as a country, okay? The, the defense budget eats up about 15% of the uh, money that we generate. Now, one of the things that's very concerning about our entitlement programs to me is obviously what's going on with Social Security. You always hear a lot of people say, oh, SS, Social Security, it's going to be gone, it's going to be gone, is it going to be gone, isn't it going to be gone, are we going to, you know, Bush was thinking about changing it to like a 401k type deal, there's so many different things that's kicked that's kicked around as to you know what's going to happen with SSI, and um, I'll tell you right now, what concerns me most about Social Security is starting in 2010. It was the first year where Social Security ran a deficit. Okay, now you're probably like, how is it a deficit? We pay SSI tax. True. But in 2010 and every year since then, we started to pay out more in Social Security payments than we brought in for the SSI tax, and it's a substantial amount. It's a lot of money going out. Just in 2012 alone, that, that fund, the Social Security fund, was negative $55 billion that the government couldn't cover from the SSI tax. For 2013, it's projected to be about $75 billion. Okay, I read, um, I read a, a really good article where a guy wrote just uh, an, an excellent article on Social Security, and, and his projections indicated that, you know, due to population growth, um, workforce, the economy, there's a trillion different things that I don't understand that go into, you know, figuring this stuff out. But he projected by 2033, the SSI trust fund will be completely wiped out due to these constant deficits we're running. So, um, you know, that's, that's, that's a definitely a cause for concern. You know, you talk to a lot of people, you ask them, hey, why is America broke? Why is the country broke? A lot of people say bailouts. Well, you got to remember with the bailouts, the, the banks and the auto bailout, all that money was paid back to the U.S. government with interest. So the government actually wound up making money on the bailouts. Now, myself, I'm kind of ambivalent on the whole bailout thing because it's it's not true capitalism when the government, you know, we're a capitalist society, we're a capitalist economy, where the government bails out a failing business. Okay, in true capitalism, those businesses would have failed, went away, new business would have risen up to take their place. Now, I, I absolutely understand the necessity of those bailouts. Those bailouts were 
necessary. It, I, I wouldn't have. Even, I don't even want to think and imagine the economic chaos that would have ensued had we not done those bailouts. So you know, as much as I don't like them, and, and technically they're, it's not capitalism that happens. Too big to fail is. It's honestly. It's 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 you know. It's true. They they were too big to fail. We we just couldn't deal with that. But the bailouts were not the cause of this. We 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 got our money back plus some for doing the bailouts. Um, where how do we fix this? I I wish I had that answer. Cause if I did, believe me, I wouldn't be making YouTube videos. I, I don't know. You know. Uh, you you got the, I myself. I'm a little. I lean a little to the conservative side. Uh, you know, you got a, a lot of the far right guys say all entitlements need to end; they need to be shut down. And I, I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that at all. There always has to be some type of safety net for people when they need it. Now, I do think we need to take a good hard look at at the money we're spending on these entitlements. Okay, we need to look at at the massive amounts of spending that's going out that's not necessary. How many people do you know that's on SSI that probably don't need to be on SSI that could work? You know, a lot of people for the past couple of years have, have been on unemployment for just, you know, two or three years, give up, and then they're, they're getting SSI pushed through. These things need to be looked at, need to be addressed. Now, now let me say, nobody's getting rich off of me on fucking food stamps or SSI. Okay, that's that's not happening. I, I get that. I understand that. No, I, I hope that nobody wants to just be on SSI for the next 20 years and live on a bullshit fixed income. But it's happening so much, and we need to take a look at that. we got to start cutting these entitlements down to where we can at least cover them, to where we can at least break even, where we're not spending $2 trillion a year on them. All right? we, can't, we can't continue to run trillion-dollar deficits or more in this country, and, and it looks like it's going to be more every year. I don't know how Obamacare is going to play into this. I would imagine that will also be under entitlement spending, but I don't know. I guess, from what I understand, the health exchange websites are up today. So if any of you go on them and check them out, please let me know. Leave me a comment of uh, if you plan on buying the Obamacare, if you plan on buying the government-mandated health care. Let me know. I'd love to know what it's going to cost you a month. I'm very fascinated by that to figure, you know, find out what people are going to spend. I read somewhere that the average price for the uh, government-mandated health care for one person would be about 250 bucks a month. And that, and that was a national average of all the, the data they had gathered off these exchange websites. I don't know if that's true. It's pretty much all I got, guys. Um, any questions, comments? Please leave them. I love to hear from you guys. Um, you know, you can follow me on Twitter at Bone Brand B O N E B R A N N, uh, and uh, that's pretty much all I got. So if you liked the video, hit the like. If not, you know, whatever. Let me know why. Um, talk to you guys later. Peace. Be safe.